And we're back. Captain Ray Rocher, r, r Tackle, Miss Brit Charter Boats, Fly from Fly Zone Fishing. Now we're gonna get really confused with all the different kind of kites. It's a big deck of cards. All right, why, when, how come? Well, wind velocity, number one. Okay. Light wind, heavy wind. That all requires different sizes of kites, different uh, venting systems. Okay. Uh, we're gonna just start, because this is the first one here, super high wind, you know, this would be kind of a cat five. Uh, smaller surface area, holes to relieve some wind pressure. Let me just stop you there. Cat five, it's a double name. Number one, it was the old Bob Lewis Bob kites, Lewis, yeah. but cat five is the worst hurricane out there. Sure. So that's where they came up yeah. with the name cat five. I've, and, and this was kind of the go-to years ago. And I think uh, Phil and Jimmy Lewis have both improved on maybe this smaller kite. Now Phil's gone to holy kites and you have two kinds of holy kites. If you look here, you got a small hole 40 and a large hole 40. Obviously, larger hole, heavier wind. I'm gonna tell you something that happened to me last year in the Chica Lodge. Rained all day long, blew 30 plus knots. In the rain, flew this kite with no helium. Really? It's got such a big relief area that the wind, it, didn't, it really didn't get unstable. So that's something that I actually learned last year. In a light, drizzling rain, we flew this kite all day. Actually flew two of them. And the big holes, obviously high wind. We, it, it gusted to 40 that day and we flew, we caught fish and. I know. remember watching you once down in Duck Key in that, uh, it was, it was that mist. Yeah. And you had the big holy kites yeah. up. And that it was helped. horrible. Yeah. It was horrible. And you know, there's some people talk about putting Scotch Guard on them. I've had mixed reviews on that. Sometimes if you put too much Scotch Guard here, then that kite forevermore is inconsistent. So it's a little risky. You're better off just have a, a good arsenal. You know, the 40 hole large, Phil even makes a 52 hole and Jimmy Lewis has it, what's called a cat five. His cat five flies really great, high winds. So then we're gonna move into what you're gonna fish more of. Bottom line is this is your number one average 10 to 20 knot wind kite, right? Medium uh, SFE. But if you look at the size of this kite to that kite, much smaller in what, where the ultralight kite came from was years ago, talking to Phil about how long his sticks come from the factory. You know, do you, do you cut any stick, part of the stick off? He says, yeah, I cut a few inches off. Make one for me that's full size. Because charter fishing, today's a perfect example. That kite, we don't need helium. This kite might be a little weak. Okay. So just that little extra surface area. Remember the sticks get lighter as they get longer. So there's not much weight added, yet we have so much more lift caused by the bigger kite. You'll see today, that's what we're gonna fly. Perfect, well let's, uh, let's get ready to get them out there. Cool. All right guys, thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone.